Welcome back to Healthcare Sucks, the wild and wooly outdoor edition. Yes, it's me in the wild and wooly look. What happens when you uh, shave your head? You have to keep it from getting sunburned, my friends. Very bad thing, Confucius say. Both head, tongue crispy, not good. Oh my god, that's probably like one of those, uh, what do they call it? Society ain't allowed to say things nowadays. Anyway, guys, I thought I would hit you back. Um, take a look. We're at the tree house. We're not up in it today. Uh, I'll give you a look at the big trees. For you that is uh, trapped in the cities and not getting out yet. Um, long time ago, I told you guys. Team 99, by the way. Power to you. Thinking, seeing, I know you guys are wise. You're going to survive this. But back on the point, uh, if you're going to bug out, now's the time to bug. Get your supplies, do what you can, bug out. Because between now and the end of the year, there's several things coming. Okay? Let's just take the elephant out of the bag. The uh, elections, there's no way this is going to be good. This is going to hit the fan, guys. Uh, society is going to tear itself apart soon. It's going to start. It already is in Portland. I live in Oregon. And I can tell you I've got people sending me stuff. I can't run some of it because it's law enforcement sending it to me. But I can tell you it's very, very close to martial law in Portland. And I'm not kidding you. And for a good cause in some of those areas. Not the whole town, guys. They're just talking about certain... The reversal of what happened in uh, Seattle. Instead of them taking over, the government's going to take over certain parts of the city. Which, basically, that is what you're already seeing, guys, if you're, if you're watching it. Um, but, as you know, we're always ahead of the curve. Don't kid yourself, I'm not 100% right, uh, but I'm damn close a lot of times. And uh, we've got that going on. We've got uh, food shortages are about ready to kick in. Whatever we you can harvest this year, whatever we get harvested, the, the companies, the farmers, uh, that's it. Winter hits, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be a bad winter this year on top of everything else. And uh, the people that I go to for that kind of information have been right on. They, they, they have not been off on, at all. Um, I do love you all. And I'm very proud of you guys for taking the steps to survive this. Um, I want to tell you straight out, though, when it comes to, like we said, survive this. I know nobody that died. And nobody I know knows anybody that died. Not that some of you may have I haven't heard from you yet if you have but so far I have not got one email so what does that tell you this thing is survivable um, this was engineered to take out the weakest people first which was the elderly of course and then as it's mutated it's taking out everybody else along the way children now now into the teen market uh, but most of them are surviving guys go out there and, and look at the real numbers And I touched this on my last video About the false testing thing and now this 30-minute test They just want to give everybody a Mark mark of the beast Maybe but anyway, they want to give you a mark that you've been counted you know, another thing is, remember a while back when the census, oh my God, we can't do the census, we can't do the census, oh no, the census. Where are the census people now, my friends? They have totally came. You know, one thing out of this sickness I have noticed, that the left and the right are idiots. They have both sides, have went to extreme other sides of the fence and jumped all around the pogo stick and... Uh, Ring around the rosy, let's just say. 
all and united for the one world order to come in, guys. It's, it's what it is. I've come to the conclusion this is where we're heading. One world order, one world government. Uh, you know, the uh, United Nations are just waiting to step in and take over. And with what's going on in Iran right now, between Israel and the other countries, if you haven't kept up on that, you should go take a look at it. They're one step away from it hitting the fan. Um, I was told that actually Iran has a lot of firepower over there, guys. So it's pretty much so if somebody goes in there to make a serious strike, they're going to have to hit it hard. And then uh, there is there will be a retaliation. Um, Unfortunately, I don't want to bring the bad news, but uh, all signs and prophecies look towards, and if you read the um, seven seals and you read Revelations and you're up on the seven bowls, the whole end of day stuff, um, the United States will get hit eventually. Now, I think we can do a hell of a job to take out most of the damage. But what scares the hell out of me is the EMP thing. And another thing I found out, um, excuse me, we did a little research. And this came from a tech I talked to, um, somebody in uh, bio warfare and stuff. And I, I didn't know this. And so I'm sharing it with you guys first. Feel free to share it. Like an EMP kind of mo bomb. You know where it shoots up above in the atmosphere, it goes off, the electronic pulse takes out everything and you can move right in. Well, certain types of bio-warfare do that exact same thing. It comes in like a pollen effect. Everybody gets taken out or it does what it's supposed to do and it's like within so many days, it's clean and clear, just like the EMP effect. So look for there to be this kind of warfare very soon to where not so much the ground damage and taking except in certain areas certain areas where they really want to take out like a military base or installation Yeah, they're gonna blast the shit out of it and uh, That's just how it's gonna be and They're not gonna care because they're not gonna go in there and deal with that stuff and Nobody else is gonna be able to go in or deal with anything either because it's gonna be all toxic um, So what do we do guys you and I? survive this well what we do now is we do what we have been prepping for and survival moding for you get the foods you get the waters you get defensive things to the point to where you can you're willing and ready to use whatever and able to use whatever you get in your own ability and your own skill and ammunition for those things huge guys uh, the word on the street is ammo is just flying off the shelves. Uh, worse than the Obama era with the 22 bull. And we know Obama was behind that, by the way. Uh, uh, so, now's not the time to let down your defense and, and think that, you know, around the corner Christmas is going to come and everything's going to be all holly jolly. It might be for us. We, I want you all to have a holly jolly quote Christmas and be with your families and enjoy life. Now every minute counts now guys. Unfortunately families like the end of the day like the Bible prophecies are fighting with each other. Even our families not getting along at times guys. It's like nuts. You do stuff for the kids and uh, you, you try to teach them and you help them and unfortunately they don't listen. And then they go do stupid things. But that's part of being kids. You know, and I still love them all. And, and they can go do whatever they want. And they still have a place here. And I still love them. Um, the stupid clashes between certain people, though, it's just super terrible, guys. <laughs> so with that being said, I do wish you the best. I will be Bach. Um... I'm going to start looking at some of my older stuff. Feel free to go look at some of the older stuff of when the Wuha started. One thing about history, you can learn from history because history has a big impact on the future, guys. And that's where we're headed right now. History is repeating itself. This is the 100-year 
whether it was man-made, genetic, or one bat flew over the cuckoo's nest and some guy took it over to the wet market and sold it and da 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 da. You know. All right, well, I will be back. And remember, healthcare sucks! Over and out, my friends.